Good afternoon. This is All India Radio. I am Valsa Williams and with me is Abhishek Mukhopadhyay with the Midday News. The headlines. Prime Minister Narendra Modi to hold virtual meeting with US President Joe Biden today to review bilateral ties, Indo-Pacific region and global issues of mutual interest. India US 2 plus 2 ministerial dialogue to take place in Washington today. Defence Minister Rajnath Singh and External Affairs Minister Dr S Jay Shankar to lead Indian delegation. Development of villages is necessary to ensure sustainable development at national level stresses Vice President M Venkaiah Naidu. Andhra Pradesh Chief Minister reconstitutes cabinet gives 68% representation to scheduled castes scheduled tribes backward classes and minorities registration for this year's amarnath yatra begins today today is mahatma jyotiba phule jayanti vice president and prime minister pay tributes to the champion of social justice and reformer pakistan parliament to elect new prime minister today In sports India to meet England in the FIH Hockey Women's Junior World Cup match tomorrow in Porchester Room South Africa for third and fourth place and in IPL Sunrisers Hyderabad to take on Gujarat Titans in Mumbai this evening Prime Minister Narendra Modi will hold a virtual meeting with US President Joe Biden today. The External Affairs Ministry said the two leaders will review the ongoing bilateral cooperation and exchange views on recent developments in South Asia, the Indo-Pacific region and global issues of mutual interest. The virtual meeting will enable both sides to continue their regular and high-level engagement aimed at further strengthening the bilateral comprehensive global strategic partnership. The fourth India-US 2 plus 2 ministerial dialogue will get underway in Washington today. Defence Minister Rajnath Singh and External Affairs Minister Dr S Jay Shankar will lead the Indian delegation. The US delegation will be led by Secretary of State Antony Blinken and Secretary of Defence Lloyd Austin. The dialogue would enable both sides to undertake a comprehensive review of cross-cutting issues in the India-US bilateral agenda. related to foreign policy defense and security with the objective of providing strategic guidance and vision for further consolidating the relationship the 2 plus 2 dialogue mechanism will also provide an opportunity to exchange views about important regional and global developments external affairs minister dr jay shankar will also meet his us counterpart secretary blinken separately He is scheduled to meet senior members of the US administration to further advance the India-US comprehensive global strategic partnership. We have a report. This year's 2 plus 2 ministerial dialogue will celebrate 75 years of diplomatic relations and reaffirm the importance of India-US comprehensive and global strategic partnership in ensuring international peace and security. It will reaffirm the shared commitment to a free, open and prosperous Indo-Pacific region. The inaugural India-US ministerial 2 plus 2 dialogue was held in September 2018 in New Delhi. The then US Secretary of State Michael Pompeo and Secretary of Defense James Mattis visited India for the dialogue with the then External Affairs Minister Sushma Swaraj and Defense Minister Nirmala Sitaraman. Three rounds of the dialogue have been held so far. India and US enjoy a comprehensive global strategic partnership covering almost all areas driven by shared democratic values, convergence of interests, and vibrant people to people contact. With Anand Kumar, Suparna Sekhya, AIR News, Delhi. Vice President M Venkai Naidu has stressed on the need to empower Panchayati Raj institution for the development of the country addressing the National Stakeholders Conference on Localization of Sustainable Development Goals organized by the Panchayati Raj Ministry in New Delhi Mr Naidu said development of villages is necessary to ensure sustainable development at the national level इन विषयों को भी ऊपर ध्यान देना चाहिए लोगों को ये उपलब्ध कराना चाहिए उसी के लिए ये फंड फंक्शन फंक्शनरीज और ऑल दिस इनिशिएटिव दैट आर बीइंग टेकन इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर इरिगेशन इज आल्सो इक्वली इम्पोर्टेंट फॉर द रूरल एरिया 
and our biggest goal after 75 years of independence is poverty samapt karna make the country free from poverty that should be our goal for that you should start with the village you should start with the grassroots level this has to be kept in mind and uh, we must also provide employment opportunities vice president emphasized on the need to bring all gram panchayat on common platform to meet the digital mission of governance He said Gram Sabhas should be held once in a year and people's participation is vital for Gram Sabhas to become vibrant. Speaking on the occasion, Panchayati Raj Minister Giriraj Singh stressed on the need to have a master plan of Panchayat to ensure transparency and accountability through technological intervention. 2030 तक United Nations के समक्ष भारत को एक सस्टेनेबल भारत एक ऐसा भारत जो जहां पंचायतों में कुपोषण नहीं हो ऐसा भारत जहां पंचायतों के अंदर कोई बच्चा स्कूल जाने से वंचित रह जाए ऐसा भारत जहां जेंडर एम्प्लॉयमेंट भी दें ऐसा भारत जहां पंचायतों के अंदर हम किसानों के प्रोड्यूस का भी मार्केटिंग कर सके क्योंकि पंचायत ही सबसे बड़ा यूनिट है पंचायती राज मिनिस्ट्री सेलिब्रेटिंग द आइकॉनिक वीक फ्रॉम टुडे टू कमेमोरेट आजादी का अमृत महोत्सव एज ए जन उत्सव वीमेन एंड चाइल्ड डेवलपमेंट मिनिस्टर स्मृति ईरानी विल चेयर जोनल कॉन्फ्रेंस ऑफ स्टेट्स एंड यूनियन टेरिटरीज एंड स्टेक होल्डर्स ऑफ वेस्टर्न रीजन एंड मुंबई टुमारो द कॉन्फ्रेंस एम्स टू सेंसिटाइज स्टेट गवर्नमेंट्स एंड यूथ एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन टू फेसिलिटेट प्रॉपर इम्प्लीमेंटेशन ऑफ द अम्ब्रेला स्कीम्स ऑफ मिशन पोषण टू पॉइंट ओ मिशन शक्ति एंड मिशन वत्सल ओवर द नेक्स्ट फाइव इयर्स In order to ensure optimum impact of recently launched missions, the centers initiated a series of zonal consultations with state governments in each region of the country. The meeting in Mumbai is the fourth in the series in which Maharashtra, Rajasthan, Goa, Gujarat, Madhya Pradesh, Dadra Nagar Haveli, and Daman and Diu will participate. Gujarat, Kerala, and Punjab have emerged as the top three performer states in the Niti Aayog's State Energy and Climate Index (SECI). Niti Aayog CEO Amitabh Khan today released the State Energy and Climate Index SECI Round 1 in New Delhi. The top three performers among the smaller states are Goa, Tripura, and Manipur. The report will be useful for the states and UTs to plan better policies and efficiently manage their energy resources in view of the changing climate. The report aims to rank states and union territories on six parameters. These are DISCOM's performance. access affordability and reliability of energy clean energy initiatives energy efficiency environmental sustainability and new initiatives president ramnath kovind today performed maha puja and darshan at historic somnath temple the first jyotirlinga near prabhas patan in gujarat president kovind also performed ganga jal abhishek on this occasion President Kovind was welcomed by Shri P K Lahiri trustee of Shri Somnath Trust Temple on his arrival at Somnath Temple Gujarat Governor Acharya Devrath also joined President Kovind during this visit the president and his family were felicitated with the memento by the Somnath Temple Trust President Kovind is on a 3 day visit to Gujarat from last Saturday In Jharkhand one woman died and four people were severely injured while many other devotees are still trapped in the Trikut mountain ropeway accident in Devgarh district occurred at the location of Ram Navami efforts to rescue a large number of devotees and passengers still trapped on the ropeway has been carried out by the army indian air force and drf jointly since morning ndrf and local administration had been jointly carrying out relief work to rescue the trapped passengers since overnight Air Force personnel are engaged in rescue work by bringing trapped devotees through helicopter. Local MP Nishikant Dube, Deputy Commissioner Manjunath Bajantri, Superintendent of Police Subhash Chandra Lat are present at the area of the incident. Chief Minister Hemant Soren has expressed grief and concern over the accident caused by the breaking of the ropeway wire in Trikoot Mountain in Devgarh district. Mr Soren told that relief and rescue operations are being carried out on war footing. Andhra Pradesh Chief Minister Vyas Jagannath Reddy reconstituted his cabinet today and gave major representation of 68% of the scheduled caste, scheduled tribes, backward classes and minorities. He has retained 11 ministers from the previous cabinet and 40 new ministers are inducted. The list of ministers has been submitted to Governor Vishwabhushan Harichandran for his approval. The new ministers will be Dharmana Prasad Rao, P Rajana Dora, Godiwada Amarnath 
ബുദ്ധി മുത്യാല നായിഡു ദദി ഷെട്ടി രാജ കറുമുറി നഗേശ്വർ റാവു കിറ്റു സത്യനാരായണൻ ജോഗി രമേശ് അമ്പട്ടി രാംബാബു മിരാഗ നാഗർജുന വിദാദാല രാജിനി കക്കാനി ഗോവർദ്ധൻ റെഡ്ഡി റോജ കെ സെൽവമണി ആൻഡ് ഉഷ ശ്രീചരൺ The Tamil Nadu Assembly today passed a resolution seeking the withdrawal of the Central University's entrance test CUET. The resolution was moved in the House by Chief Minister MK Stalin who said the CUET will sideline the diverse school education systems across the country undermining the relevance of the long form learning in schools. He said the system will force the students to rely only upon coaching institutes. The BJP member Nayanar Nagendran indicated that the test is not compulsory for the state or private universities but only optional. To this the state higher education minister Mr Ponmudi said the NEET was also initially brought in as an optional test for the states but later made compulsory. The unsatisfied BJP member staged a walkout from the house. All the other parties including the NDA allies the ADMK and the PMK and the DMK partners including the Congress the left and the VCK supported the resolution later the speaker M Appavu announced that the resolution was passed in voice vote unanimously Telangana Chief Minister K Chandrasekhar Rao is leading a dharna in the National Capital Delhi for the cause of farmers of the state the dharna is being held at Telangana Bhavan in New Delhi TRS functionaries including ministers MPs district party presidents and other party leaders are sitting in the dharna More than 185 crore 74 lakh covid vaccine doses have been administered in the country so far under the nationwide vaccination drive The health ministry said more than 2 lakh 44000 doses were administered in the last 24 hours During the same period a total of 861 new cases were reported in the country India's active case load currently stands at 11058 and the active cases stand at 0.03%. The recovery rate is currently at 98.76%. A total of 929 people have recovered in the last 24 hours, and total recovery starts to over 4 crore 25 lakh. The Enforcement Directorate ED is questioning senior Congress leader Malikarjun Kharge in New Delhi in connection with the National Herald corruption case. A correspondent quoting sources reports, Mr. Kharge was summoned to appear before ED today. Six workers were killed in a blast which triggered a fire in a chemical factory in Gujarat's Bharuch district this morning. The incident took place in the unit located in the Hage industrial area about 235 kilometers from Ahmedabad. The six victims were working near a reactor which suddenly blew off during solvent distillation process. The blast in the reactor caused a fire in the factory. The factory was all, uh, the fire was also brought under control, Bharuch superintendent of police Leena Patel said. No one else was injured in the incident, the official informed. The prime minister has expressed grief at the loss of lives due to a mishap at a factory in Bharuch. He has announced an extra share of 2 lakh rupees each from the prime minister's national relief fund which would be given to the next of kin of the deceased and the injured would be given 50000 rupees. BJP today said the Narendra Modi government has worked for the welfare of women and downtrodden sections of society taking inspiration from great social reformer Mahatma Phule briefing reporters in New Delhi party spokesperson Sambit Patra listed out several welfare schemes of NDA government including Ujjwala Beti Bachao Beti Padhao Mission Indradhanush and construction of toilets in the last 8 years He said students from ST community are being provided quality education through Eklavya school. Mr. Patra said under Ujwala scheme more than 10 crore people have been provided LPG cylinders while Beti Bachao Beti Padhao has helped in improving sex ratio in the country. You are listening to the Midday News on All India Radio. A reminder of the headlines before we move on. Prime Minister Narendra Modi to hold virtual meeting with US President Joe Biden today. to review bilateral ties in the Pacific region and global issues of mutual interest in the US 2 plus 2 ministerial dialogue to take place in Washington today defense minister Rajnath Singh and external affairs minister Dr S Jay Shankar to lead Indian delegation development of villages is necessary to ensure sustainable development at national level stresses vice president M Venkai Naidu and the Pradesh chief minister reconstitutes cabinet gives 68% representation to schedule caste schedule tribes backward classes and minorities registration for this year's amarnath yatra begins today 
Today is Mahatma Jyotiba Phule Jayanti, Vice President and Prime Minister paid tributes to the champion of social justice and reformer. Pakistan Parliament to elect a new Prime Minister today. In sports, India to meet England in the FIH Hockey Women's Junior World Cup match tomorrow in Pochestrom, South Africa for the third and fourth place. And in IPL, Sunrise is Hyderabad to take on Gujarat Titans in Mumbai this evening. For quick news updates around the clock, follow us on our Twitter handle at the rate AIR News Alerts. आजादी के आंदोलन के खजाने में ऐसे ढेरों शब्द जिन्होंने बदल दिए इतिहास तारीख बदलने वाले लफ्जों पर आकाशवाणी समाचार प्रसारित कर रहा है विशेष कार्यक्रम धरोहर हर सोमवार कंपटीशन के अगर आप कर रहे हैं तैयारी तो उनके लिए ऑल इंडिया रेडियो पर हम लाए हैं अभ्यास एक ऐसा कार्यक्रम जिसमें आप पूछेंगे सवाल व्हाट्सएप नंबर 9289094044 पर या फिर ईमेल करेंगे अभ्यास.airnews@gmail.com पर और हमारे विशेषज्ञ देंगे इसका जवाब अगले अंक का विषय है ज्योग्राफी यानी कि भूगोल और हमारे एक्सपर्ट हैं प्रोफेसर अमृता बजाज सवाल भेजने की अंतिम तारीख है 13th अप्रैल आपका अभ्यास हमारा प्रयास वेलकम बैक टू द मिड डे न्यूज इन पाकिस्तान द नेशनल असेंबली सेशन विल बी हेल्ड टुडे टू इलेक्ट द न्यू प्राइम मिनिस्टर पाकिस्तान मुस्लिम लीग नवाज प्रेसिडेंट शहबाज शरीफ एंड पाकिस्तान तहरीक इंसाफ पी टी आई लीडर शाह महमूद कुरैशी हैव सबमिटेड देयर नॉमिनेशन पेपर्स फॉर द पोस्ट देयर नॉमिनेशन केम अ डे आफ्टर इमरान खान वॉज रिमूव्ड फ्रॉम द पोस्ट ऑफ द प्राइम मिनिस्टर आफ्टर लूजिंग द नो कॉन्फिडेंस वोट इन द थ्री हंड्रेड एंड फोर्टी टू मेंबर नेशनल असेंबली In his first reaction since his ouster from the post Mr Khan said even though the country became an independent state in 1947 the freedom struggle has begun again against a foreign conspiracy of regime change The registration for this year's Amarnath Yatra will begin today the pilgrimage to the Himalayan cave shrine will commence on June the 30th and conclude on August the 11th talking to AIR news chief executive officer of Sri Amarnath Ji Shrine board Nitishwar Kumar said the registration will start at 446 branches of Jammu and Kashmir Bank Punjab National Bank Yes Bank and 100 branches of SBI across the country इस पूरी यात्रा में जो भी यात्री अपना पंजीकरण कराना चाहते हैं वो आज से शुरू हो रहे पंजीकरण में बैंक के विभिन्न ब्रांचों में जाकर फिजिकली अपना रजिस्ट्रेशन करा सकते हैं या अगर जो यात्री ऑनलाइन करना चाहते हैं तो वो हमारी वेबसाइट है डब्ल्यू 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 डॉट श्री अमरनाथ जी श्राइन डॉट कॉम पे पंजीकरण कर सकते हैं या गूगल प्ले स्टोर से श्री अमरनाथ जी यात्रा डाउनलोड करके भी मोबाइल ऐप से पंजीकरण कर सकते हैं इस बार की यात्रा में हम लोग कुछ नई सुविधाएं शुरू कर जैसे प्रत्येक यात्री के लिए हम आर एफ आई डी टैग देंगे जिससे कि पूरी यात्रा के दौरान हम यात्री को ट्रैक कर सकें और सुरक्षा के दृष्टि से ये हमारे लिए बहुत आवश्यक होगा इंश्योरेंस कवर हमने प्रति व्यक्ति पांच लाख रुपया किया है और यात्रियों के ठहरने के लिए रामबन में तीन हजार ऐसी अधिक यात्रियों के लिए हमने एक बहुत सुंदर यात्री निवास बनाया है यूनियन इन्फॉर्मेशन एंड ब्रॉडकास्टिंग सेक्रेटरी अपूर्वा चंद्रा कन्वीन द मीटिंग टू डेट डिस्कस media publicity to be given to this year's Amarnath Yatra. Jammu and Kashmir Chief Secretary Arun Kumar Mehta, Principal Secretary Rohit Kansar, Shri Amarnath Ji Shrine Board CEO Nitishwar Kumar and senior officials from the central government including Joint Secretary Ministry of INB, Vikram Sahai, Principal Director General News, All India Radio, N. Venudhar Reddy, Director General Doordarshan Mayank Agrawal, Additional Director General Press Information Bureau Srinagar Rajender Chaudhary besides other senior officials took part in the meeting. Renowned Assamese poet Nilamani Fukan will be conferred the country's highest literary award Gyanpeeth in Guwahati today. A celebrated poet Fukan was named for the Gyanpeeth award in December last year. The award will be presented for the first time in Assam. Our correspondent reports the Chief Minister Himanta Biswa Sharma as well as all the members of the Gyanpeeth committee will be present on the occasion. 
90 year old nilamani fugan is the third recipient of the prestigious gyanpit award from assam earlier virendra kumar bhattacharya and mamoni roisham goswami got this award born in golaghat district he did master degree in history from the guwahati university a sahitya academy and padmasri awardee nilamani fugan's prominent works include purjo henu nami ahe e nodiye di kavita nitrata prithvi phuli thaka Purjamukhi Fular Phale and Gulapi Jamur Lagno. He was also awarded the Assam Valley Literary Award in the year 1997. His works, which are inspired by French symbolism, generated huge admiration from contemporaries and was also able to attract both younger writers and readers. Manas Patim Sarma, AIA News, Guwahati. And now let's listen to a special program Azadi ka safar highlighting the importance of the day during the freedom struggle Azadi ka amrit mahotsav Azadi ka safar with AIR news birth of a nation India's glorious freedom struggle is one of the greatest struggles the modern world has ever witnessed. AIR News brings you a glimpse of the struggle every day. In today's episode, we remember the great social reformer Mahatma Jyoti Rao Phule, who was born on the 11th of April 1827. He worked towards the eradication of the caste system and educating women. He and his wife Savitri Bai Phule were pioneers of women education in India. <laughs> Jyotiba founded Satya Shodhak Samaj in 1873 in Pune to fight for attaining equal rights for people from so-called lower castes and to educate them. The ideals of human well-being, happiness, unity, equality, and easy religious principles and rituals formed the philosophy of the Samaj. Jyotiba said, "Mere aap se vinti hai ki aap mane Ishwar ek hai aur sare manushya uske bachche hain." मेरे आपसे प्रार्थना है कि आप अपने और ईश्वर के बीच में किसी को बिचवाई न माने द मेंबर्स यूज टू विजिट विलेजेस एंड परफॉर्म जलसाज टू स्प्रेड द मैसेजेस ऑफ सोशल रिफॉर्मेशन सूर्य बड़ा ही ने देता जो सबको उजाला एक चांद भी होते नहीं अनेक मेघ का जल भी सबको एक होन सब मानव हो सब एक फुले is regarded as one of the most important figures in the social reform movement in the country he was bestowed with the honorific title mahatma by social activist bithal rao krishna ji bandekar in 1888 we salute the great indian we also remember freedom activist kasturba gandhi who was born on the 11th of april 1869 fondly called as ba by her husband mahatma gandhi she in gandhi ji's own words was the epitome of strength from whom he learned about the practice of ahimsa the non violence gandhi ji wrote If anything, Kasturba stood above me, but for her unfailing cooperation, I might have been in the abyss. She stood by me in all my political fights and never hesitated to take the plunge. In the current sense of world, she was uneducated, but to my mind, she was a model of true education. She was a devoted Vaishnav, but she had obliterated all feelings of caste from her mind. She personified the ideal of which. Narsimha Mehta 
है संग इन वैष्णव जन हिंद On the evening of 22nd February 1944, Kasturba breathed her last at the Aga Khan Palace, where she was detained with Gandhi Ji. We salute the great Indian. We also remember Mata Folad Singh, who took part in the first war of Indian independence in 1857. A resident of Khandesh, Maharashtra, Folad Singh took part in attacking the British establishments and seizing their treasuries at a number of places. He took part in a battle on 11th of April 1858 where he was killed by the company troops in the course of fierce fighting. We salute the great son of the soil. We also remember independence activist Kapil Dev Singh. a resident of Muzaffarpur Bihar who took part in the Quit India movement in 1942 Kapil Dev was arrested and he died on 11th of April 1944 in prisoners ward of Patna hospital we salute the great martyr that brings us to the end of this episode of Azadi ka safar with AIR news see you in the next episode tomorrow Vice President M Venkai Naidu and Prime Minister Narendra Modi pay tribute to the great social reformer visionary thinker and educationist Mahatma Phule on his jayanti today. The opening ceremony of the two-day 8th Commonwealth Parliamentary Association India Region Conference commenced today at the precincts of the Assam Legislative Assembly Guwahati with the lighting of the lamp. Lok Sabha Speaker Om Birla addressed the conference in which several state assembly speakers and deputy speakers MPs and MLAs of various states Lok Sabha and Rajya Sabha secretariat officials took part World Parkinson's Day is observed every year on the 11th of April to spread awareness about the neurodegenerative disease The day also marks the anniversary of James Parkinson who wrote the article an essay on the shaking palsy in 1817 recognizing the disease for the first time a desk report the neurodegenerative movement disorder parkinson disease occurs when the dopamine producing cells in a part of the brain called substantia nigra start to deteriorate it mainly affects people over 60 although younger people are also at risk over a crore people are suffering from this condition worldwide and india is home to over 5 lakh patients with parkinson disease the symptoms of the disease are tremor in limbs stiffness problems in coordinating movements posture problems and sleep problems some patients may also report behavioral changes like depression fatigue memory difficulties and sleep problems parkinson disease has no cure but it can be managed by making some dietary changes fish oils fava beans antioxidant rich meals and foods strong in vitamins b1 c and d are some of the foods that can help omega 3 fatty acids have been shown in studies to reduce nerve inflammation increase neurotransmission and halt neurodegeneration limiting sugar sodium and salt intake and eating plenty of grains vegetables and fruits can help manage symptoms ravi kumar aya news delhi in hockey germany's steam rollered england in a 8-0 demolition to set up a summit clash with the netherlands in the fih hockey women's junior world cup in potchefstroom south africa germany will take on the netherlands in the final while india will meet england in the third and fourth place match tomorrow in ipl cricket sunrisers hyderabad will take on gujarat titans in mumbai today the match will begin at 7:30 this evening and now before we end the bulletin the headlines once again Prime Minister Narendra Modi to hold virtual meeting with US President Joe Biden today to review bilateral ties in the Pacific region and global issues of mutual interest. India US 2 plus 2 ministerial dialogue to take place in Washington today. Defence Minister Rajnath Singh and External Affairs Minister Dr S Jay Shankar to lead Indian delegation. Development of villages is necessary to ensure sustainable development at national level stresses Vice President M Venkaiah Naidu. Andhra Pradesh Chief Minister reconstitutes cabinet gives 68% representation to scheduled caste scheduled tribes backward classes and minorities registration for this year's Amarnath Yatra begins today 
Today is Mahatma Jyotiba Phule Jayanti, Vice President and Prime Minister pay tributes to the reformer and champion of social justice. Pakistan Parliament to elect new Prime Minister today. In sports, India to meet England in FIH Hockey Women's Junior World Cup match tomorrow. And in IPL Sunrisers, Hyderabad to take on Gujarat Titans in Mumbai this evening. And with that, we end the Midday News.